In today's lesson, we are learning to order numbers from smallest to largest and largest to smallest. The first thing that we do when we want to order numbers is to compare the numbers. And I'm sure that you're all familiar with these symbols. So this symbol is greater than. The snappy crocodile always bites the bigger number. In this picture, we can say number 10 is bigger than or greater than or larger than or more than 8. The next symbol is less than. Remember Snappy the crocodile always bites the bigger number? So here we can say number 3 is less than number 9. Or the other words we can use are smaller than, less than, fewer than or lower than. And the last symbol is the equal symbol and we use this symbol to compare the numbers when they are the same and of the same value. Now let's see how we can compare bigger numbers. In order to compare the bigger numbers we need to label each digit according to their value in the number. So number 398 has three hundreds, nine tens and eight ones. Number 962 has nine hundreds, six tens and two ones. Next, we compare the first digit on the left hand sides of each number to see whether it's smaller or bigger. So in this case, we have a three and we have a nine. And that's pretty simple. Three is smaller than nine. So number 348 is smaller than 962. Let's have a look at another example. 569, 562. So we need to label each digit according to their value. So in 569, we have 500s, 6 tens, and 9 ones. And number 562 has 500s, 6 tens, and 2 ones. Now remember to compare, we need to look at the first digit on the left hand side of each number. So these two numbers both have 500s and they are the same. Now we need to move to the tens. Oh, they both have six tens too. Now we need to move to the ones and compare the ones. One has nine and one has two, and that's very simple. Now that makes sense and that makes it easier. So we can say 569 is bigger than or greater than 562. Now I want you to pause the video and compare these two numbers using the method that I told you. When you are done, you can continue watching. So 1367 has 1306 tens and 7 ones. 1352 has 1305 tens and 2 ones. So they both have 1000s, so we need to move to the hundreds. They both have 300s that are the same. We need to move to the tens. One has six tens and one has five tens. That's simple. So that number is bigger. So we can say 1367 is bigger than 1352. Or we can say 1352 is smaller than 1367. Now let's talk about ordering numbers. When we order numbers, we put them in the order of the counting, either counting on or counting back. In other words, ordering numbers mean arrangement of numbers either from small to big or from big to small. When we put numbers in order from largest to smallest, we put them in an ascending order. And when we put them in the order of smallest to largest, we put them in descending order. Now, if we want to order these three numbers, we first need to compare them to see which one is the largest and which one is the smallest. So we can look at the value of each digit in each number. Now, 
We look at the hundreds to see which one has the biggest hundreds and of course number 9 is the biggest. So that number could be the largest number. And of course number 331 has the smallest hundred so that's the smallest number. So this is the arrangement of numbers when you have put them in the largest to smallest order or in an ascending order. Now let's put these four numbers in order from smallest to largest. Let's compare them first and see which one is the smallest number and which one is the largest. In other words, which one has the smallest hundreds and which one has the biggest hundred. That's right, 264 with two hundreds is the smallest and 839 with eight hundreds is the largest. That's the order of these numbers from smallest to largest. And all I needed to do was to compare the hundreds since they all had different hundreds and that was easy to compare the hundreds. Remember, when we're ordering numbers, we think of which number will come before, after or between. I can even use a number line for that. I can say 355 is after 354, 353 is before 354, 354 is between 353 and 355. Now, what comes after 111? What comes after 11? 12, right? So, it's 112. What comes after 379? What's after 79? 80, right? So it's 380. What comes before 431? What's before 31? 30, yeah? So it's 430. What comes before 120? What's before 20? 90, right? So it's 119. What comes between 5,201 and 5,203? What comes between 1 and 3? It's 2, right? So it's 5,202. Have a look here and see if you can find the missing numbers. 1,177, 1,179. There are two numbers missing in between. So what's between 1177 and 1179? What's between 7 and 9? It's 8, right? So it's 1178. And what comes after 1179? What's after 79? It's 80, right? So it's 1180. So remember, when we're comparing large numbers, we compare each place value starting from the first digit on the left hand side of each 